Hello, in this video we are gonna see how we can fix the WordPress email not sending uh, issues and how you can uh, configure your uh, WordPress website to safely send uh, emails and uh, be sure that they are reaching the inbox of the accounts. So you may uh, have contact forms or maybe you may have users or you want to be notified when someone uh, posts a comment and uh, there are some cases when these, uh, these notifications are not working because of, uh, for instance, there is no email server configured on the hosting provider, the IP address uh, may be flagged as, uh, as a spam and, and blocked by some of the, some of the email, uh, email providers and uh, with this video, we are going to configure a premium service that will going to help us uh, safely send emails uh, from WordPress. The service that we are going to use to send emails, it's called uh, MailerSend. It is uh, offering a free option with the MailerSend. You can uh, send free up to 12,000 emails. I have also created a video review for this that you can check in the description. I will let a link there. To benefit of these uh, 12,000 emails, uh, you will need to input your credit card. This is the only downside of this service, but it is very generous and uh, 12,000 emails is more than enough for most of WordPress websites. Okay. First thing that we need to do is to create an account to the mailer send. So in here I've already um, proceeded to, to create that and uh, to do that we just go to mailersend.com or uh, on the link that I'll let you know in the des description and, uh, and uh, hit sign up and then after you hit the sign up you'll need to verify your email address to be sure that they will, to, to be sure that it's valid, they will need to, to do that. Uh, then you will uh, proceed to review your, accept your policies and then uh, add a sending domain. So this is a domain that will appear in the sending notifications and the email accounts that will be in the headers of the email will be associated with this domain. You just hit start in here and it will prompt you for adding this domain. Uh, I already done that, so it's not active anymore, but it will be something like, like this. And afterwards, we need to verify the sending domain. So we'll hit start. And in this area, you will have the details that you need to use on your, your DNS provider. So in here, you have the SPF, you have uh, the, the DKIM details, you have the return path for, on the, for the CNAME, you can um, create a custom DNS record for tracking the to track the opens and the clicks like this. I will not set this this up right now, but you have this option if you want in here afterwards. You just verify the domain. So to see how we can do that, I have in here the the domain in the Cloudflare, and basically it will be the same for the rest. Just the interface will be it will be a little different, but in here you have. Uh, uh, some tutorials of how you can configure this in different uh, uh, in different DNS providers and uh, including to the cloud cloudflare if you want but we are gonna do it in here so in here you go to your uh, domain and you go into the DNS section and for the first record the SPF one we are just gonna need to copy this thing and we go in here then the SPF should already be there uh, in my case, it's already here because I'm using other service. But to to validate their domain, what we need to do is just go in here and just uh, replace this with what uh, they uh, they send us. In here, you you, you see that they included the, the SPF details like mailer send and including here SPF dot mailer send dot com, mlsn dot com, and then we'll hit save. Then we're gonna need to add the the Kim record from them. To do that, we just need to copy this value. This is a TXT value, and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go and add a record in the type 
we're gonna search for the txt should be the so the last one in here you add the name that they're giving giving to you we'll let the auto the ttl time and then we're gonna add the code we just copy it and we're gonna add it in in here and then we're gonna hit save okay and has been added next we're gonna need to add the c name mta.pp.com that will point to this record this is the return path to do that we're gonna go and add a record and this time it will be a c name record mta it was and here we'll put the target mailer send and in here we'll deactivate the proxy and we hit save and in here you see that the c name has been has been added mta mailer send after all of this uh, is added you can go and uh, verify your domain name you, i've added the dns record and verify the domain i'm not gonna do this uh, right now because i already have a domain configured in other account and after you will be prompted let me close this after you will be prompted to validate the to, to get approved so account uh, to be approved for your domain so you need to to go here and uh, hit this get approved and what will happen is that a request will be sent to mailer send and they will validate manually your domain to see that it's it's all right this uh, took about uh, 20 minutes for the other account that that i have and afterwards you have the, the the plan options in here so the the default plan that is the no plan one it will only allow you to to send one 100 emails but uh, you will need to upgrade to, to the free one and input your credit card details to to be able to to have the 12,000 emails a month limit you just hit upgrade and uh, after you verify and you put your credit card details they will not charge anything from your credit card uh, the, your credit card will need to be there in case you go beyond the 12,000 email uh, limit so they will charge you one dollar for uh, 1000 emails sent so for me this is not the case let me open the other account i am in the other account uh, right now so in here you see that i have the free plan that has the 12,000 emails you see here the plan it's like this right now i'm just used 33 emails and uh, i have this activity since uh, 17 august okay the next uh, thing that we are gonna need to go is to go into our wordpress installation in uh, my case i will use this domain for test we're gonna go and activate their plugin to do that we're gonna go to plugins add new and we are gonna search for mailer send Mailer send official SMTP integrations the integration. This is the plugin that uh, you need to use. We're gonna install it and activate it, and then we're gonna go to the settings and configure or press to send emails to it. Okay, in here we have right now mailer send SMTP, and in this uh, in this window in here we're gonna need to go and add our SMTP username and password that we're gonna take from uh, mailer send and then we're gonna configure the sender details and then we're gonna send the test email to see if this uh, it's it's working so to to do this we uh, we go to the mailer send and in the emails we have domains in here and we just click the domain that is verified and we scroll down and in here we will have the smtp if this is not active you just activate it with with this and in here we have the uh, the username and the password so what i will do now i will copy the pass the username first let me copy this and i will go to the 
plug in and input the username then we are gonna go and copy the password from here I'll move this in the other place so I can copy it safely okay I have copied the password and now we're gonna go and put it in, in here we have to hit save so right now we have linked the the WordPress website with the SMTP. Next, we're gonna need to add a sender name. So the sender name in my you can it can be on anything you want, but I will use for instance the name of this website. It will be Bidos, and then sender email address. You will need to add an address. You can put no reply in here or a name, and then the domain you have chosen for my case I use bidos.com and I will put bidos so all the, the, the emails it will be sent with this email address you have the options to add a CC recipient in here so when the email will be sent uh, the email it will, will, be, uh, will be sent to the administrator and uh, to the CC recipients if you have any the same for the BCC you have the option to add BCC recipients in, in here if you want in here you can add a reply to address if the address that uh, sends the email is not the, the one that you, you want the re reply to, to to go back you just put in here the, the address this is something that other plugins doesn't have for instance you can use fluent smtp configure uh, with uh, mailer send but uh, you will not have the options to to change the reply to address that's why i like to use their official plugin for that you don't have the options to other so CC recipient or BCC ones. So, for instance, I will use also this address to be the reply one. And then we're going to hit save. So, right now we have configured everything uh, needed for WordPress to, to send emails. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go and send a test email to see that the emails are reaching the inbox of the account. We'll hit send. And in here you see that uh, a test email was sent successfully they are telling next we can go to the mailbox and see that this is the case and in here you see that the videos this is the email the email was sent successfully what we can do also is to test to see for instance the password is set it's, it's working or if you have contact forms there for instance if we hit the lost our password and we put the email address of the account for which we lose the password and we hit a get new password we should have an email with the password reset link so in here you see that the emails are are working you have the emails with the password it didn't reach spam it just with the reach the inbox and in here you have the details that you you, you place is here like the reply to is the, the one that we put in the reply section and if we it reply it will send the emails to the one that we used there so in this way you are configuring uh, your things in the WordPress email issues with mailer send this is a free the free, a free service that can help you send 12,000 emails a month also in there you have like uh, some detailed reports with all the activity that it, it's, it's happening with the email and the rejection rate and things like that uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, helped you pass the email issues in, in WordPress. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like the, the video if, uh, if you enjoy what you, you've seen. Have a nice day and see you next time.